Among the most popular animals here at the North Carolina Zoo are the gorillas. Our gorillas serve as ambassadors for their wild cousins, educating visitors about the plight of these endangered primates. But our commitment to conserving gorillas goes well beyond the gates of the North Carolina Zoo. In the countries of Cameroon and Nigeria and West Africa, we're helping to save the last of one of Africa's most endangered apes, the Cross River Gorilla. By working with partners in government and with other conservation organizations, we're helping to guarantee that this remarkable animal will be around for future generations to see and enjoy. These gorillas, shown here in Cameroon's Limbe Wildlife Center, were thought to be extinct until they were recently rediscovered in the remote highlands of the Nigeria-Cameroon border. Research on these animals has shown that they are a unique subspecies, physically and genetically different from other gorillas. Unfortunately, years of hunting by local people for meat and erosion of the gorilla's forest habitat for farmland and cattle grazing has placed these apes in a perilous situation. Only 300 cross river gorillas remain. If threats to them and their rainforest habitat are not removed, these unique animals may disappear forever. North Carolina Zoo Curator of Conservation and Research, Dr. Rich Burgle, has been studying the Cross River Gorilla for more than 10 years and leads our efforts to conserve this highly endangered subspecies. Our understanding of the gorillas is based on research that's only been going on for about 20 years or so, which is a big contrast to most other primates across Africa. My research has used genetics and analysis of satellite imagery to try to answer some questions of conservation relevance for the Cross River Gorilla, specifically looking at how the gorillas move across the landscape, how they migrate between different areas, and also looking at the distribution of habitat, looking at how much forest is left and how it's connected. The Cross River Gorillas, as a way to avoid hunters, have concentrated themselves into these really rugged and remote places. This is good for the gorillas because it means they're harder to hunt, but it also makes things difficult for conservationists because we, like hunters, have a hard time climbing up and down these hills. In the uh, approximately 10 years that I've been working on Cross River Gorillas, I've only spent about 10 seconds actually observing them in the wild. So it's a really challenging environment, but also a very beautiful place. To overcome these challenges, scientists use trackers who are familiar with the gorilla's behavior and way of life. And what they're doing is they're following these animals, discovering what they eat, where they sleep at night, and how they use the landscape in general. The trackers are among the best in the business. They started off as hunters and are now turned conservationists. And they can follow the gorillas through habitat that you and I, and, and follow tracks that you and I would never recognize as being from a gorilla until you eventually land up at either a gorilla's nest site or seeing the gorillas themselves. Sometimes gorilla tracks are quite obvious. We are following the path this way to the nest site. What you see in front of me is fresh feeding signs. Gorillas will push down large trees and break large branches. You can see here, this is another feeding sign. But other times, the track might be something as simple as a turned leaf or a scratch in the dirt. So they have been feeding on this box. What we have right here is a gorilla nest. Every night, each gorilla, young animals and adults, makes their own nest that they sleep in. So one of the ways that we can figure out how many animals there are, how many gorillas there are in a group, is by counting the number of nests. Where we're sitting right now is where the gorillas slept last night, so this morning, they would have woken up right here, spent a little bit, bit of time waking up just like people do, and then headed off into the forest to find food. Due to thick jungle habitat and their wariness of people, the Cross River gorillas are rarely seen. The silverback, the adult male of the group, will give an alarm call to alert the other gorillas that there are, there's something nearby, which in this case was us was making noise and seriously backing. <laughs> so after days of tracking, even one brief glimpse of a silverback is a memorable event.
for Cross River Gorillas, that was a really good sighting in all the years that I've been working on these animals. That's the closest that I've seen them, and that's the first time that I've ever been actually charged by a silverback. Gorillas eat a wide variety of plants in the forest. Researchers find evidence of their daily diet while following the gorilla's trail. So what we have here is a plant called Aphromomum. This is actually a type of ginger, and this is one of the plants that the gorillas really like to eat. They eat both the fruits and the stems of the fruit. And what they do is strip off the outside of the plant to reveal the soft center here, and they chew it and it actually tastes pretty good. One of the things the North Carolina Zoo is doing to help preserve these endangered animals is to develop a computerized data collection system for use by all conservationists in the field studying these animals. The CyberTracker system is a ruggedized handheld computer with a GPS antenna built into it and a touch screen, which allows field workers to very easily enter in a wide variety of different types of information, and because it has GPS, we automatically know where that information was recorded. The Kagwani Gorilla Sanctuary is a wildlife sanctuary recently created to protect the Cross River Gorilla. At Kagwani, we were holding a training workshop for park rangers and researchers in how to use the cyber tracker handheld computers. So we spent the first couple of days getting people familiar with the system how to input data into the system, and then we actually went out into the forest to give people the experience of actually using the cyber tracker units to collect the kind of information that will be used to better conserve the gorillas. So with everybody using the same devices, collecting the same information, we'll be able to get a much better idea of what's going on with the gorillas and in the forest in general, and using that information, we'll be able to better conserve the entire habitat where the gorillas occur. Yeah, the cyber tracker unit would ease data collection and data analysis in respect of the cross river gorilla. Because we have seen that it's easy to use and it is holistic in that it can collect a lot of information easily. The cyber tracker units for which we have just had uh, training uh, are going to be very useful for law enforcement and also for research purposes, gathering of uh, necessary data for the management of the sanctuary. The development of the cyber tracker system is part of a collaboration between the North Carolina Zoo and the Wildlife Conservation Society, one of the world's largest environmental organisations. The relationship between the Wildlife Conservation Society and North Carolina Zoo is really exciting. It's something that's developing and growing all the time. We're working very closely with Dr Richard Burgle, who has 10 years' experience working with the Cross River Gorilla and who's answered a number of key conservation questions for us which are helping us frame the actions that we're putting in place in the field. What's really key at the moment is to both control hunting and to hang on to the remaining gorilla habitat in order to allow the gorilla population the chance to grow. The Cross River Gorillas are important to protect because they're unique, but they're also uh, a flagship for all the other wildlife and wild places in this part of the world. So by protecting the Cross River Gorilla and their habitat, you're not just saving gorillas, you're saving all the other wildlife and all the forest that's, that's out there for the future. Many years of hunting and habitat loss have made the Cross River Gorilla the most endangered ape in Africa and pushed them to the brink of extinction. However, the North Carolina Zoo's conservation work in Nigeria and Cameroon is helping to reverse this trend and to ensure the survival of these unique animals. By working with partners in government and other conservation organizations, we're helping to guarantee that these unique animals and all the other wildlife with which they share their forest home are around for future generations to see.